So a couple of weeks ago I decided to do an experiment by coaching a couple of Samus mains from my Discord server with different techniques to try and figure out a quote unquote optimal way for learning Smash. I'm in the process of making a video on that so keep an eye out, but during that time I noticed there were a couple of mistakes that literally every Samus I've coached made. So today I'd like to share 5 of these mistakes with you and help you fix them. Firstly, not having full charge shot. This is my 10 millionth time saying this, so I'm not even counting it. If you still don't know about it, just look it up. And if you still don't understand why, hit me up on Discord or something to receive a 20 minute lecture. Okay, out of my system, let's move on. Number one is not properly canceling your charge shot. There are four ways to cancel charge shot. Shielding, jumping, double jumping, air dodging, and double jump canceling. By far the most important way to learn and practice is with shield, but without the shield actually coming out. It's pretty simple, but here's how this works. When you press the shield button, it takes a couple of frames for the shield to actually come out. So if during this time frame you let go of the shield button, you'll be back in an actionable state in just a few frames. The input is kind of like a short hop, but on the shield instead of jump button. If you're using a GameCube controller and you're not already super used to doing this, I would recommend either using one of the face buttons or Z to shield to make this easier. Or if you want to be fancy, mod your shield button to be analog so you can just click it on and off instead of having to very lightly tap the trigger button all the time. These methods definitely make things easier, and as someone who doesn't use either of them, I can attest that using standard controls can really hurt your hands, depending on how you hold your controller. You can also short hop, full hop, or double jump to cancel charge, but this means you'll be in the air afterwards. It's not necessarily a bad thing, but it's important to keep in mind. Always try to save your double jump, especially so that you're able to double jump cancel charge shot in the air. It's really, really helpful once you master turnaround charge shot, the reverse, and wave bouncing. If you don't have your double jump and you're stuck charging midair, you can always air dodge out of it if you need to. Otherwise, you're forced to shoot it or wait until you get full charge. Finally, double jumping right before landing while charging allows you to cancel charge pretty dang fast, but it's kind of tricky and it's the least important to learn. It's basically like an L cancel in melee, but with jump instead of shield. I would say that most people don't currently use this method, and instead just tap shield when they land, but eventually every top Samus main will be using both methods interchangeably, or at least be able to do it. Number two is not properly using Zare. A lot of people picking up Samus might see the potential in Zare, but don't really know how or when to use it. If you ask a dozen non Samus mains at a local what Samus's Zare actually does, you'll get a dozen different but pretty underwhelming answers. The thing is that Zare is kind of like a pocket knife a soldier might keep with them in war, so it's not the thing that you pull out when you're being like stared in the face with an AK, but in terms of utility, when you're not in the middle of a firefight, it's way better at a lot of things than a straight up weapon, like charge shot or missiles. Pointless analogies aside, Samus noobs look at all the things that she can throw out in front of her, look at the damage on all of them, and are like, huh, Zare is kind of underwhelming. So okay, let's go through this. Let's say you're against Ganon. Pretty much everything except homing missiles and fair works here, because it's an easy peasy matchup at low levels, but obviously in each micro situation, some of these options will definitely be better than others. But now let's say you're against Joker, or Peach, or Game & Watch, or Palutena, or Lucas, or whatever really. Not only do a lot of options simply not work in certain situations, due to counters or better hitboxes and frame data, or reflectors or whatever. The point is that in a lot of situations, and again it's a lot of characters, certain options are just really not safe. But one thing that's almost always amazingly handy, when all of your best options are just not that great, is your trusty Zare. Plus, it got heavily buffed, so it's way better now. So there's absolutely no reason to neglect Zare. This thing pokes, it pushes, it sets up, it controls stage, it defends, it protects, and more importantly, it connects. Anyway, use your Zare, make timing its second nature, including the sacred full hop fast fall Zare, and always know what you're gonna do once you land after throwing it out. Mistake number three is forgetting to use your normals. Samus has a pretty great F tilt that can set up tech chases, make space, and even knock people out at certain percents. She also has a really useful jab wand that she can dash, walk, shield, or crouch out of. These moves are probably the most underutilized and the most important thing to practice alongside charge shot tricks and movement, but particularly focus on using your jab wand because F-tilt is kind of easy to use. 
One of the handiest things to practice is jab one into dash back pivot grab. It's awesome for pressuring shield, and it's a great way to mix your opponent up. To do this, just jab once, immediately dash back, press Z, then almost simultaneously flick your control stick back to the direction you were originally facing. The pivot grab is kind of like doing a B reverse, but with a grab. Obviously, you shouldn't do this every time you jab, and you should definitely mix it up because there's a lot of different things you can do out of it, but it's pretty handy. Tip number four is not moving properly. Thanks to her charge shot, bombs, and low traction, Samus has one of the most unique and complex movement kits in the game. By far, the most important skill in Smash is movement, because no matter how good your combos or reads are, if you can't get to where you need to be, you can't do much of anything. Not including walking, which is actually really important to learn, so don't neglect that. The movement tech you need to learn in order of most fundamental to most technical or situation specific is probably short hop fast falling, box driving, dash dancing, reverse aerial rush, B reverse, turn around B, wave bouncing, wave landing, tethering tricks, wall jumping, bear sliding, zare sliding, and animation edge cancels for full fanciness. Also, bomb jumping for recovery is somewhere in there too, but it takes like 15 minutes of practice to learn it tops. The final mistake I'm gonna go over is tunnel vision. Here's the thing, it's pretty much impossible to focus on more than one thing at once. That means sometimes certain things are gonna have to take a mental back seat. These kinds of things like timing, KO percents, punishes, or whatever, have to be ingrained in your brain to the point of second nature. That way, the one thing that you can divert most of your focus to is the general flow of the game and having good game sense. Samus is blessed in the sense that while none of her options are ridiculously good, if played properly, she has a really vast amount of options available to her at any given situation. And ideally, none of those options should go unnoticed or unused by a good Samus main. Just because you think you have a good read on your opponent, doesn't mean that you shouldn't be ready for or try to cover anything else they might do. And just because you know a certain move will KO or lead into a sick combo or string, doesn't mean you should only be fishing for that move. Anyway, that's all for now, but don't forget to subscribe so that you can check out some upcoming Samus content I have, including that coaching video I was talking about, and I am probably going to do the Arden War and Smash because a couple of you guys commented about it. So anyway, let me know what you guys think, um, you know, what you guys want to see next and all that in the comments, and yeah, peace.